Well, hey there, everybody. I'm so glad that you're with me today. I wanted to jump in real quick and uh, kind of get off the regular schedule here and talk a little bit about this whole coronavirus and uh, really how artists can pandemic proof your art business. And I know that may seem like, Matt, is that even possible? But listen, it's absolutely possible. I I've been hearing such panic and such horror stories from people of, oh no, I had this big show, I've got this big exhibition, I've got this big thing, what am I gonna do? Because the silver bullet, listen now, the silver bullet that they thought was gonna be the thing for their art business is suddenly not working out. And that really doesn't work in any situation, much less when there is a global pandemic like what's going on with coronavirus and um, you know whether it's the economic downturns that we always have, whether it is a political situation that's going on, there are things that you can do no matter where you are in the world, no matter what culture you're a part of, no matter what kind of issue is going on in the world, there are things that you can do to pandemic proof, if you will, <laughs> your business in a way that will give you safety and stability uh, in times of uncertainty. All right, so I want to give you those five things today because I know that there are things that I do, there are things that we've built into our business, there are things that I encourage artists to do, um, you know, in the mentoring program to really build a strong foundation uh, for their business. All right, the first thing I would say is listen. All right, <laughs> you know, Luke eight thirty three says, you know, the secrets of the kingdom are our inheritance. Listen, God has a solution for every issue that's going on in the world right now. And whether it's a, a business solution, a health solution, a relational solution, no matter what it might be, all right, God's got a solution for that. And he's looking actively for people that he wants to release solutions for. Some huge solutions globally, some larger solutions nationally, other solutions community-wide, or maybe just a solution for your family or for your clients, but there's always something that the Holy Spirit is speaking. If you'll listen, if you'll put an ear, in, instead of putting an ear to the news, instead of putting an ear to the, the prophet of the day, instead of putting an, an ear to all the stuff that's going on in the world, put an ear to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, would you speak to me? Because I know that you've caused me, you caused me to prosper in all things. I know that your design for me, your your goal for me, your your plan for me is to live an abundant life, to be an ambassador in the kingdom. So how do I do that, Lord? Would you release strategy to me? Listen, Holy Spirit is faithful. He wants to do that. And so listening is learning to listen is the first thing. Stop in the middle of all the craziness and listen. All right. Second thing I would say is this. The Bible says in Proverbs, all right, it's uh, Proverbs 21, 20, the wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends everything he gets. I say this all the time in the mentoring program, but, you know, anytime you're growing a business, anytime you have a successful business, all right, uh, even if you have an unsuccessful business, <laughs> you know, don't eat your seed. That is, don't spend everything that comes in. You know, you want to keep some back. Why? for hard times, you wanna keep some back to be able to invest. Listen, this is one of the best times probably, as soon as this thing hits the hits the bottom and the stock market and all that sort of thing, this is probably one of the best times to invest uh, ever because things will be like boom at the bottom, all right? Uh, this is an opportunity where you can sometimes buy things cheaper. This is an opportunity where uh, you can, you know, maybe businesses will be going on sale. You can get supplies uh, cheaper, all right? there's lots of different things, but also the preparation is so key because you don't know. There, there are times in life where an earthquake happens, a political revolution happens, a global pandemic happens, all right? And we can't be out and do things for two, three, four weeks or whatever. How are you gonna live, all right? So preparing for that, having an emergency account, three to six months of, of income, uh, having uh, some other things that I'm going to tell you in a minute, you know, about just preparation, but preparing for those things, not out of fear, but just realizing that, hey, Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble, all right? <laughs> but take heart, he said, I've overcome the world. So if you prepare for those things and realize, hey, I know those things are coming, 
I'm not looking for them to come. I don't want them to come, but I know they will. Um, and I'm going to be ready with my family and in my business to be able to weather the storm. All right. That's really, really um, important. It's the whole grasshopper and the ant story that we learned as kids. All right. The third thing I would say is this. This is there's never, ever, ever been a better time for you to be an artist than in this world and in our generation right now. But so many artists are out there following fads, trying to, you know, be the hottest thing on this social media site or that social media site, knowing that they could all disappear tomorrow, thinking that this show or that show is the best thing since sliced bread. And if they can just get in that, everything will be great. Listen, the best way <laughs> to pandemic proof your business is to build a business, not like you're a commodity, not trying to, you know, fight people on price. And, uh, you know, all the, all the little things that the Walmart shoppers, if you will, you know, that are out there. All right. The, the 52% of people that are out there that are, are just price conscious, pushing the prices lower, always looking for a deal. Never, ever, ever try to build your business on those kind of folks, build your business off that other 48% of, of people in the economy who are responsible studies say for 77% of discretionary buying. And you know, the interesting thing is, uh, when you read marketing studies in downtimes, in economic downtimes, in times where nobody is buying anything, it seems like, where the economy's down, all this kind of stuff, guess what? Those people that buy because of connection, guess what? They still have money and they're still buying because of connection. So if, you're, if you will invest, serve, give to your audience right now is a great time <laughs> to be on social media talking about what you're doing as an artist, you know, talking about how much you're serving your audience, talking about your success stories, talking about answering questions about how you can serve your audience in the middle of a situation like this. Listen, as you will serve and give and connect, what begins to happen is this, this law is called the law of reciprocity. <laughs> As you give, guess what? People want to give back to you. And in business, that only that not only comes through um, purchases and that sort of thing, but it also comes through referrals. And that is really, really, really huge. All right. So again, if you had to do anything right now, don't double down on fear. Double down on connection and building connection with your audience to say, I'm still here. We're still doing what God's called us to do. I'm excited about it. Yes, it's a a crazy time, but we're still pressing in and doing the things um, that we're doing. And how can I help you? All right. That's a huge, huge uh, win in this kind of situation. All right. The fourth thing that I would say is you're looking, you know, artists are looking to pandemic proof their business. This is so important. Diversify. If you, you know, we've talked about it a little bit, but if, if you have a silver bullet mentality, for your art business, thinking that somehow that if you are just on this website or do this one thing or uh, this one show is, you know, what if, what if your one show, just think about it. If your one show was this weekend and states are, are closing down everything. I mean, my goodness, the March Madness basketball games have been canceled. I mean, we're talking, this is, <laughs> this is serious. You know, I talked yesterday to a friend in Italy. He said, Matt, you don't understand how quickly things can shut down. He said, last week we were in Milan, Italy. He said, where, where he lives, they're there going out to eat, nightlife, all this kind of stuff. Next week, guess what? Boom. Everybody's locked in their houses. Martial law on the streets. People can get arrested for being able to, you know, for, for doing the wrong thing, for getting outside the, you know, the lines. Uh, they've got to be in the house. They, there's a, they are, you know, cloistered, if you will. It changed like that overnight. So if all of your business, if everything that you're doing to get your income is based on one revenue stream, you're going to be in a mess. That's just a natural consequence. All right. And so that's why I'm always telling artists diversify, get as many different marketing opportunities as you can. We call that the Parthenon uh, plan. You know, like the, the Parthenon has a big roof and tons and tons of different pillars. All right. You want to have lots and lots, at least eight to 10 different marketing strategies that you're doing so that when one doesn't work out the way it, it, you thought it would, or when one gets canceled, or when you can't do one as normal, guess what? 
the other ones can pick up the slack. And the, uh, the same thing is true not only with marketing, but also multiple streams of income. This is the beautiful thing about being both an entrepreneur and an artist. When you are doing multiple things, when you've got your work on Etsy and you've got it on your website and you're selling through strategic partners and you're doing shows and, you know, I just think about the things that I'm doing right now. Um, I've got my online courses. All right. I've got, I'm still doing some speaking engagements. Guess what? Over Skype and over, uh, over Zoom. All right. I'm still doing consulting uh, individually with people digitally. All right. Because of the internet. All right. I'm actually speaking at an at a event in Hawaii this summer. Guess what? Over the internet. All right. I don't have to go there. I don't have to worry about the travel bans. I can do that. That's a stream of income that I've developed uh, in the way that I've, I've set up my business. I think about the books that I've written. I've written six books. Guess what? Every day, Amazon's sending me money into my bank account. <laughs> Why? Because I've set up multiple streams of income so that just because I can't go do an art show or just because I don't have a lot of people coming into my studio doesn't mean that I'm not getting commission inquiries on my website, on social media. doesn't mean that I'm not selling online classes. doesn't mean that I'm not uh, doing other speaking things. I've got multiple streams of income that are still feeding us, my family, and providing for me and the people that I employ. And that is really, really um, important as you're looking to pandemic proof your business. All right. Because here's the deal. I, I think, uh, you know, well, here, here's the fifth one and then I'll wrap it up. But the fifth one is create. All right. As artists, we, what we do, hello, <laughs> what we do is create. And so use these kind of out of the box times. All right. To make art, to think of different ideas, experiences, opportunities for your clients, for people to take advantage of. Maybe, listen, if you're an art teacher right now, you know one of the best things you could do? Do a free art class, uh, do a free art get together um, on Skype or something or on in your Facebook group and just tell everybody, you know what? I just wanna love on you. This is a scary time. I just wanna love on you. We're gonna get together and do this together. You know what that's doing? That's letting your people know you love them. That's letting your people know I value you more than I value, um, you know, your business. We value community. Guess what? Creating, all right, new ideas, new experiences, new ways of interacting in, in, in uh, you know, irregular situations. All of a sudden, you're building reciprocity. You're building love, that no like, and trust factor. And as things begin to, to get better, guess what? They are going to remember that you are the one that took care of them during that time. And that will continue to, to build and build and build. All right. Over time. So again, the first thing we started with, listen, then prepare, connect, diversify and create. Think of those out of the box ideas to, to do things with the Lord. Those five things I guarantee you as you do those and put those into practice over the long term, will absolutely pandemic proof your business because here's the deal difficulties will always happen. All right. But as my grandmother said, this too shall pass. None of these things that seem so, oh, you know, war and rumors of war, disease and famine and natural disasters and all those kind of things. And listen, as bad as they are right now. All right. And this is a serious situation that we're all facing in the world right now. Guess what? There will be a day where it will be over. There will be a day where it'll hit its peak and then it'll, it's going to smooth out. And guess what? We'll be back to some sort of normalcy. The key is, can you weather the storm in faith, <laughs> believing that God's still in control, that he loves you? And have you done the practical things along the way to sustain you, your family and your business uh, in order to make sure that you come out on the other side? That's my heart for you, that you not be caught off guard and be in fear but you are like the sons of Issachar, that you knew the times and you knew what to do. And so I hope these five things, again, you know, listen, prepare, connect, diversify, create. As you do those things, I hope they're going to encourage you um, in everything that you're doing during this kind of crazy time that we're going through uh, with the coronavirus uh, and all that. All right. 
Well, hey, I love you very much. I'm really, really glad that uh, that you're on today. I wish you'd take the opportunity to share this uh, with a friend because you know, just like I do, there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of artists that uh, might be freaking out right now because uh, their apple cart has gotten turned over, but you can be a part of giving them hope, um, just like I'm trying to be a part of bringing you hope today um, as I share this, all right? Father, thank you that you've not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Lord, we press into that today, into your presence, knowing that you who began a good work in us is faithful to complete it. Lord, your word says in Psalm 91 that, uh, that uh, though a thousand fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand, they will not come near me. No evil will come near our dwelling place. And Father, we just, we stand upon that today. And uh, Lord, enable us and equip us as we do the practical things to stand with you as you walk with us on this journey. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, I love you very much. Have an awesome, awesome day. And um, be sure to hit the share button. All right. Bye.